guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna be going over my must-haves for NaNoWriMo this year. We're talking tools of the trade, some fun software, race, oh, I missed my hand. <laughs> Resource guides, all things organization, and like, of course, my puppers. In previous years, I attempted to fit all of my like survival kit items into my bag so that I could have like one survival kit. Um, I've given up this year. There's too many things. So let's go ahead and get started. First off with the tools and software aspect as this is the question I get asked the most often. Let me show you my setup. So we're gonna start with drafting software first, as I will in fact be rewriting Project Death for this year's NaNoWriMo. Though a lot of y'all are familiar with it, this is Scrivener. Scrivener. They also partner with NaNoWriMo, so if this is your first time seeing it, this and like one of the other tools I mentioned, you should start seeing them a lot more often. I will say a quick warning is that I use it on Mac, so I have the Mac version of Scrivener, which is phenomenal, but I've heard kind of iffy things about the Windows version, so just sort of like FYI. However, one of my absolute favorite things about Scrivener and that I will be utilizing heavily this time is this sort of split screen function. So now I can have my old draft, my brainstorming notes on one side. I can also switch scenes throughout. Woo. And then if I needed to reference even from like individual parts of the thing, look at this. Phenomenal, so cool, it's all right here, yay. <laughs> I love using this when revising or in this case rewriting as I will have my old draft to reference and then my new draft to type the new words in. And that frees up the second monitor too drum roll with one hand. Oh, should I say that uh, my second monitor is also in my NaNoWriMo survival kit? Because it is. As is my laptop and their, you know, charger. <laughs> Anyways, this frees up my second monitor to have my Campfire Pro. You'll have seen me using Campfire Pro in all of my Preptober videos, but they are also the sponsor of today's video. So thank you Campfire Pro so much for partnering up with me again. This is actually the first story that I'm using the timeline function in. This contains all of my prepping and there's still more to come. Um, thankfully Preptober's not over yet, but like. Am I cutting it close? Yes. Is Campfire helping? Yes. So let's click into the first death actually. So you can see I have the characters added that need to be there. I'm actually working on adding in the locations in this whole like temporal location, which is really cool. And the minor major sort of magnitude of it. You can even set colors. I haven't done that yet though. I said I was gonna click into it. We're gonna click out. Though I am adjusting the size of the scene uh, based off of like the importance of the scene, which I think visually is really gonna help me out because I think it's going to help a lot with pacing later. You can't have too many really big scenes back to back to back without some breathing room for the reader. So as I'm rereading, kind of scaling how important, important the scenes are, or basically like, how big they feel, how monumental sort of thing, like the first death is one of the bigger scenes. So in this first death, I have literally all of my reread notes for the scene. I even have parts that I'm going to edit in so that when I'm doing the rewrite, I'll know that this needs to be incorporated as I go. But there are a lot of other ways that you can use Campfire. Besides the timeline, Campfire Pro also has character pages, corkboard style maps, and character arcs. If you get the world building pack, you can also create magic systems, species, languages, and a whole lot more. And your stories are private and no one else can access them. It's also only a one-time purchase of $49.99 or another $24.99 for the optional add-on of the world building pack. And if you do want to check out Campfire Pro, again, there will be a link down below in the description to start your 10-day free trial. So now that we've talked about the drafting tools, we've talked about the outlining, brainstorming, timelining, other tools. I also want to revisit the app that I've been using for dictation. Because after I did that Chris Fox video, y'all, like this app is saving me. Don't do stop. I still have actually the last scene I did up. So this is an app called Speech Notes. I can do a new note and it has been just so incredibly helpful, especially as I'm hoping that November will not be quite so hot in Texas. Ta -da. And because I'm taking such intense outlining notes, I'm hoping that it'll be super easy to just go on like a 30 minute walk and dictate the scenes. I should also say, while we're talking about techie stuff, backup, backup your systems, okay? There's at least one person I know every single NaNoWriMo who loses some portion of their draft 
You don't want to be that person. Be my passport ultra. The other quick tools I will be using are the little pin holder that Becca got me from last year's survival kit swap with my plethora of rainbow colored pins. Ooh, ah. I don't know how I manage that with all, all of them falling out. My dotted notebook, which actually, can you see? I'm almost, I've almost filled out another one of these in full. When did I start this? Eleven twenty nine nineteen. Wow, during last year's NaNoWriMo. Okay, wow, I'm having a whole moment because <laughs> my goals that I have here, Project Death, Query 2021. Y'all, my handwriting's trash, but y'all, okay. So let's go ahead and talk about organization as well. It's just a quick pivot over to this way where you can see that I have a visual representation constantly of what my schedule looks like, but also I rely heavily on my passion planner. This is the daily version. This is going to keep me super organized where I will be listing my live write-ins each day and also putting at the very top for today's focus, the 1,667 or 2,000 words, I don't know. My goal is to finish the draft during NaNoWriMo, so I don't yet know how many words I'm hoping to put on there each day, but like that's gonna be at the very top. I think it helps a lot to have something that you're incorporating your schedule like around NaNoWriMo or like plugging NaNoWriMo into your schedule. My sister-in-law made these adorable writer slash like NaNoWriMo stickers that I will be sprinkling into my planner. So you can see the 50K, the adorable little coffee, editing, which I will be doing, <laughs> journal, writer, the ideas, the little bookworm. Anyways, bloop. Wah. Another tool that I've just started using is called Asana. Asana. <laughs> I've been using this mostly to sort of do actual publishing stuff and get all of that organized because, you know, during NaNoWriMo, I can't just stop doing my other publishing work. So I'm, <sighs> I'm excited to explore this more. It's going really well with a single pin name. It's gonna be interesting when I'm doing multiple projects, if I wanna put my YouTube stuff in there too. I actually found this from Hannah Witten's channel, More Hannah. So as I explore this more, I will be sure to like, chat about it, yes. Also, real quick, because my NaNoWriMo will not be complete without the various other things that I'm doing, I am using a Canon EOS Rebel SL2 to film this video, <laughs> and I have it on the um, Joby Gorillapod, yes. I also use StreamYard to do all of my various YouTube live streams, whether that's Patreon stuff or like the public ones or the NaNoWriMo fundraiser ones. And for my Twitch streams, I use OBS and Streamlabs. Welcome to my OBS setup. Hello. <laughs> I do suppose I should also mention that uh, as I do sometimes film on this and the Speech Notes app is on this, I have an Android. It's not an iPhone, it also has a cracked screen. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so now that all of the techie stuff is out of the way, let's talk about how I plan to reward myself and also some final like reference things I'll be using. Yeah, I mean, puppy cuddles will be number one. Hi baby, hi baby. <laughs> it's just right outside the door. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Besides the beautiful cappuccino machine, we do have all of the mugs, including this very cute Kate Cavanaugh writes mug that that same sister-in-law got me. One beautiful NaNoWriMo mug. Two beautiful NaNoWriMo mugs. And wait for it. Oh my gosh, three NaNoWriMo mugs. <laughs> also electric kettle. And several puzzles to do to sort of help my sanity. I already said hi to you. That one's being a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> All of the puzzles still to do. I've talked about it before, but I also have my desk bike and my standing desk. Besides just the frequent dictation I'm hoping to do, those two will really help keep my body in check. You know, the hunch. The hunch is real. But besides coffee and tea, of course, also lots and lots of water to be drank 
This is my current favorite obsession as I refound this old mug jug. Mug jug with literature facts from Pal's bookstore. I have my spirit dragon watching over me that Becca C. Smith made. And I will also be referencing frequently Save the Cat Writes a Novel. I'm going to attempt to do my own outlining method and then use this as well as Brandon Sanderson's lecture series that he has on YouTube. So I'm watching it through now and then I think I'm just going to watch it over again and again and again. If I'm anything like all the other writers I know who have already watched that series, it'll just be like a frequent repeat. And I checked out Bird by Bird at the library. I've heard incredible things from a lot of really hugely famous authors about this book, so I'm excited to just kind of use it as inspiration, I guess, throughout the month. Yeah. Now to keep my sanity going, I will also be continuing my Ring Fit adventure, and my biggest reward will not be food related this year, as I have learned my lesson after severely over ingesting candy corn last time. This year, my reward will be my collection of Hollow Taco nail polish. Let's ooh and ah together. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> but I think that's it for my NaNoWriMo survival kit. Is it a bit extreme? Yes. Will I use almost all of these things daily though? Yes. Please do comment down below. Let me know what's gonna be in your NaNoWriMo survival kit. Will you be doing any kind of extra things this year, whether that is vlogging or streaming or posting daily to Instagram or kind of like live tweeting your word counts? Let me know, I'm curious. And also let me know what sort of extra thing is in your NaNoWriMo survival kit or like the weirdest thing in your survival kit. Yes. Yes, but that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Jen Panton, Jordan Strope, Teresa Hestelia, Holly Rice, The Luke Skywalker 2, Chelsea the Clown, E, Charlene, Lisa Lisa, Mon One, Emily Ennis, and Catherine Blanche. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. And the speech note and the speech note apps. Ooh. As well as Brandon Sanders. Oh, can I say that better this time? <laughs>